Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the most recent three orders and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with two different columns, customer ID and name. Customer ID being the primary key for this table. This table contains information about customers. Okay. We are also given a second table called orders with four different columns. Order ID, order date, customer ID and cost. Order ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the orders made by customer ID. Each customer has one order per day. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the most recent three orders of each user. If a user ordered less than three orders, return all of their orders. And it should be sorted by customer name in ascending order, customer ID in ascending order. And if there is a tie, then order them by order date in descending order. Okay, so let's go through this example. So these are the five different customers and on different dates, they have ordered few things, right? Now, let's say for customer ID one, right? So for customer ID one, uh, so there is one order, two order, two order, three order and fourth order, right? So customer ID one is Winston. So Winston has four order. We need to return the latest three. So 31st of July, 2020, 10th of June, 2020, 3rd of August, 2020 and 15th of July, 2020. So for one that is Winston, the latest order is 3rd of August, then 31st of July, then 15th of July and then 10th of June. So since we only need to keep the latest three, so we keep the 3rd of August, 31st of July and 15th of July, right? And that would be the final output, right? Uh, and that is for Winston. Similarly, for let's say customer ID 2, customer ID 2 is Jonathan, right? So customer ID 2 has 1, 2, 3. So three, uh, exactly three orders. So obviously we need to return all three, right? And similarly for other customers. So if you see, right? So let me just, you know, okay. So so for Jonathan, we, we return three. For Winston, we return the latest three right so 3rd of august 31st and 15 so this is what we need to do right so the first thing that we should do is we should join the orders table with customers table because the name of the customer is in customers table and we want that in our output right so let's start with it so from the orders table aliased as o so this is the orders table and left join right the customers table customers table aliased as c on o dot customer id is equal to c dot customer id and then let's return the columns that we need right so we what do we need we need the name id order id and order date right so the name column is in customers column right customers table so c dot name then we need the customer id customer id we can uh, you know return from both orders table as well as customers table but let's return with orders table so o dot customer id then o dot order id and at last o dot order date right so customer id order id and order date now we need a column which can basically identify that for each customer right so what are the you know
latest orders right or in other words if we can identify that for each of the customers how many right how many orders have been you know ordered by those customers so for example what i am trying to say is like for example for customer id 1 if we can you know assign okay so this is one order this is another order this is another order and this is another order right so four orders so if we can have one two three four assigned you know after we have you know uh, like ordered by after we have sorted by order date so for example what i'm trying to say is like let's say, let's just look at customer id 1 right so for customer id 1 let's uh, sort order uh, order date in descending order so the first row would be uh, 3rd of august 2020 the th second row would be 31st of july third will be 15th of july and the fourth would be 10th of june right and now if we assign 3rd of august as 1 31st of july as 2 15th of july as 3 and 10th of june as 4 and then obviously if we since we need to return the you know latest three if we say out of these only return those where the value of that column is less than or equal to three so that is going to return the latest three right so how can we do that we need to use the rank window function okay so over since we are using a window function we need to write the over clause so over partition by since for each customers we need that right so partition by customer id so o dot customer id and then order by order date right order date in decreasing manner and then find that rank right so that is assign those values and let's let's alias it as like whatever let's alias it as r right so let me run this obviously this is not the complete query but let me run this and you know let's see what this is returning right okay so if you see right so for winston right so for winston 3rd of august it is 1 for 31st of july 2 15th of july 3 and uh, 10th of june 4th right similarly for jonathan right so 1 2 and 3 and or dates are ordered in decreasing manner right so if you see 7th of august 1st of august and then 30th of july right so this is the output from this so from this if i do only keep those rows where this column the final column right so which we have aliased as r so where the final column r is less than equal to 3 then that is going to give me the latest three orders right so let's store this entire thing in a common table expression so with ct as right i store this in a common table expression and from this common table expression i am only keeping those rows where r is less than equal to 3 that means gives me the latest three orders of each customer return the four columns that we need right so the four columns customer name customer id order id and order date so let's copy this okay and in the output the name of the column should be customer name not name so we need to alias this as customer name and finally we need to order also as well right so order so we order by and since like we are using common table expressions so we need, don't need to write o dot right because o does not have any significance in common table expression right so order by customer name right in ascending order then uh, customer id in ascending order so customer id in ascending order and if there is a tie then order date in decreasing manner okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens
Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, like not very difficult question, uh, medium difficulty and all we had to do and know in this question was like, how can we assign that? What are the latest orders? Or basically, how can we assign and give numbers to the orders in a decreasing manner of their order date, right? And then based on that, then we can only keep certain rows. So this is the most important line of this code, right? And this is how we solve it. Let me know if you if you know uh, any other or better way or more efficient way of solving this. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.